Gauging your network needs by the future of the future by simply meeting the needs of the market today is likely foolhardy. Let me share my own experience. In the mid-1990s, Richland Electric Cooperative, along with several other telephone cooperatives, started providing internet service. The definition then was considerably different than it is today. I recall well one November day when we turned up our service, and we were leaders in our community. We were providing a service that people in our community had never experienced, and they were excited with this novel, new technology that allowed them to view the world in a whole new way. Frankly, it was fun. A few days later, we had some technical difficulties resulting in an outage, and that outage lasted about a day. A few people called, but they were understanding. It was new. It was exciting. Then in January, just two months after we turned up service, we experienced another outage. But I can tell you at this time, the calls changed. They rolled in quickly, and the demands of resolution for resolution were very intense. Because in those two short months, people had moved from novelty to necessity, and they needed email to run their business. I can tell you, that was not fun. I kind of like this. Look at 2019 first with me, would you please, on the right side. No one needs a gigabit today, right? That's what the article is. Here's why that doesn't matter. Providers must take the long view and build networks that will meet rapidly rising demand for bandwidth well into the future. So I thought to myself, I wonder if I could go backwards and find a quote like that. And of course, it wasn't that hard, Google being what it is. Um, 2015, who needs fast broadband? Faster internet? No one wants that. Okay, no need for speed. Cable industry opposes 25 megabits. Normal people don't need 25 megabits down or three megabits up. So I don't know how many normal people there are in here, but apparently you don't need 25.3. Hypothetical use cases. This is 2015, folks. Wasn't that long way? Hypothetical use cases showing the need for 25.3 dramatically exaggerate the amount of bandwidth needed by the typical broadband user. Just a few years ago. So uh, don't ever forget that if you build capacity, an application will come.